It's on tonight. 220 yards going down. Had problems getting concrete, but now we got it from SRM. Give a big shout out to them. Here we go. What do you do off the first truck? You get your sample for your test. This young man is from the lab. He's here to do the concrete test. At what temperature are we looking for? A little bit under 89 since it's so early in the morning and it's not hot outside. I'm to have some water to uh, get to wet the, 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 what's called, I guess the cone of the slump. Yeah. It won't stick onto the slump All right. as much. Kind of loud with the trucks in the background all he was doing was it rained and it filled up his cylinders with a little bit of water and he was using it for his washout really what they aim for is uh two scoops each layer and there's three layers three layers two scoops per layer What he was saying it was hard to hear is you take the rod and you probe it 25 times. On the second layer, you only let the rod probe down into the first layer or the layer below the one you're doing one inch. So you don't take the rod and run it all the way to the bottom. You want to at least take your time so like five seconds uh, as, as you pick it up, don't pick it up fully because then it's just splatters everywhere. Okay. Five to six is our pass. Four to six. Four to six. Right there is five and a five quarter. And one quarter. Five and a quarter. That pass. Yeah. I know that as it goes, it, uh, as the day goes by trucks, it gets better. Right. Good morning. Okay, here we are on this foundation. Now, this is the foundation that we showed. Uh, cutting down, doing the slag fill, two and a half foot from the uplift. Now it's time to pour. We got all of our great beans dug. We got our re plastic in. We got our rebar. We got everything in. We're ready to go here. So, turn back over here. We got our friends, the six brothers, on the job. They never let us down. We actually got SRM bringing us the concrete. We had a concrete shortage. 
Luckily, these guys had some powder. And uh, you always like it when your man's got the powder, you know? So um, here we are, getting ready to have this party. Y'all have a good one. Hope you enjoy it. We had three posts in this foundation that we were required to set. Here we are setting them. We lifting them up so high to so get the concrete up under them like we're required to have and moving on. These will carry support beams for the porch. We got the legendary Carl here. Hey, easy money. What you doing, buddy? How are you, man? Kinda uh -huh. early, kinda early for this stuff, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Sign of the times. Sign of the times. Yeah, SRM bring us little material. We might get out of here today. And here's SRM with another truck backing up. As you can see, when he gets back here, we have another truck backing in at the same time. Now, this is the way you're supposed to do it. You got two trucks emptying them out as quick as you can get them out of the chute. Turn that pump up and let it flow. It it sucks when you only got one truck there and your trucks are running late and your pump bill's going higher and you ain't getting it down. There you can see we've got a good flow going. Concrete moving. Pumping it through so you know what that means. Cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Like a little cash register going off. Yep. I do like these big concrete pours. Well, this one ain't too big, 220, but it's still a good pour. This house had quite a bit of unique features. Here is a brick ledge that runs through to the front. The three post, as I said earlier, is for, this is a porch. This is a mother-in-law quarters right here. And it's a brick ledge to go through there. You can see the gray beam over there. And you can see how much of this has that brick ledge through it. Obviously, this is a million dollar home. I do like that shot. Look at that sunrise. It's nice to work outside and get to experience that. Might be hot and sweaty while you're looking at it though. Our heat index was 105. There you're looking at more of the brick ledge running around. Got two bay windows on that wall. Got a post out here, there's gonna be a nice swimming pool with a waterfall. It's gonna be a beautiful home, ain't no doubt about it. Putting a nice light uh, broom finish for the porch. See the guys back there working it in. This thing's got a bunch of porches on front and back. And you can see where we were talking about that bridge, brick ledge running through there. It's a pretty chopped up little house. As we take a walk around and look, you can see all the form work that went into this one. You can see it looks pretty good. Getting all the finished touches on it. Got all the J-bolts there, the corner uh, strapping. That mother-in-law quarter, look how big that is. That's going to be kind of nice, you know? Here you got that big front porch that runs from the back all the way through the house. Divides the main house and the mother-in-law quarter, but still has a roof over it. They got a nice swimming pool going in back here. Yeah, this one turned out okay. Turned out okay. Good sized job.
Well, there goes 210 yards on the ground. We had four concrete companies that didn't have cement. We ended up paying $157 a yard for this concrete. Thank God SRM came through. Ooh, but every time somebody comes through, it's coming through at a price. But we got it down. Hope everybody likes the video. Like to hit the subscribe and the like button. Thanks for watching.